channel it's your girl tj and i'm so excited because west kids came in the freaking clutch with this wig baby when i tell you this comes with hd lays it comes pre-bleach and pre-plug but the best thing of it all it comes freaking styled like i did not style this wig it came like this stop playing that's all that needs to be said that's all that needs to be said <laughs> All right, girlies, let's get into today's install. And when I tell you I'm obsessed with this hairline, how in the heck did they get it to look like this is growing out my scalp? Just giving HD realness. Look how good this hairline looks. Like, stop playing with what's good. But this is what the hair looks like. I'm going to go in and detangle it with my unbrush um, just to get the kinks and tangles out because I did have it on my mannequin hand before this. So these curls, they were holding for dear life. They weren't trying to go nowhere. So now I'm going in with some wax. This step is optional, but we're just going to do a little bit of customization before I secure it all the way down. I'm just placing that wax all throughout the hairline, and we're just going to follow up with our hot comb. I do have my hot comb on 20, the number 20, and baby, let's just lay it on down. Do y'all look, look at that. Y'all couldn't tell me that this ain't my hair like you're not gonna sit there and tell me that because baby she is giving what she's supposed to get so if you know me you know i love to be quick with my install so that's why i would you know naturally gravitate towards synthetic units because literally it's already customized some of them <laughs> and you just put them you know put them on and go pretty much because they're already styled so i was super shocked when i opened up this box and west kiss sent the hair already done like everything was done the only thing that i needed to do was put it on my freaking head like they have stepped up the game and it's gonna make me enjoy you know wearing virgin hair units all over again because i don't like doing all that stuff i don't like bleaching the knots i don't like plucking i don't like doing all that i just want to take the hair out and put it on and they just made it that easy okay but anyway y'all back to the video I'm just cutting off the lace. Um, this is definitely big head friendly for my big head girls. Look at all this lace. If your head can't fit up in there, I don't know what to tell you. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the ear tab. I do like to make a part so it can fit around there perfectly. So now I'm just going to go in and tint the lace. Like I said, it's HD. I still like to tint my lace no matter what type of lace it is because I feel like it just looks more natural. I'm going in with the uh, cream foundation in the level 12, and we're just going to go ahead and dab this uh, color all over the lace. Now, I did use a darker shade. I don't know. I'd be in between using the darker shade or the lighter shade, the lightest shade out of that palette, but I'm going to test it. My next install, I'm going to use the lighter one to see which one I like better. This is going to do. Okay, it's going to do. We're just going in to secure our lace and we're using my even lace spray i've been loving this can in a blue bottle like i said it has biotin in it and i love how it protects my edges so we here so i'm just doing about one to two layers and i'd like to start with the center of my head i like to go in with warm heat well i just put it on the warm setting and once it gets tacky i like to align my wig with where i placed the product and that's literally it like i said lace glue is super easy to use if you guys are new and don't know what you're doing lace uh spray is just easy to get the hang of so now i'm just gonna stretch the lace i kind of stretched it too tight y'all gonna y'all ain't gonna see it right here well you probably see it right here but my wig did start rippling i don't know what's been up with me lately you know pulling my wigs too tightly or leaving a lot of extra lace which caused that you know to happen as well so just be mindful of that um, but yeah, we just gonna go ahead and secure this all the way around, but y'all can't tell me it's not giving scalp though. You could try.
we are done installing it all the way around and she is looking good we are gonna go in and add some um lace melting spray and i like to do this after i secure it down just to you know make that line of demarcation be less visible like i said it's not gonna go 100 go away 100 percent, but it's gonna go away enough to you know where we looking decent out in these streets so after i do um, spray that lace melting spray on the hairline I like to go in and dry it down before I add my elastic band I'm just gonna go ahead and double band I like to take my Amazon band and then the, the band that comes in the packaging excuse the dirt it's dirty <laughs> but we just gonna let this sit for a good 10 minutes and then we will be back so now we're gonna go ahead and take our elastic band off and baby look at this goodness look at her like this is giving fresh relaxer it's giving like it's straight out up out of my scalp i should have put a little bit more of my contour shade around that hairline so it could blend in better because i i don't know what we got going on up there but it, it's all right y'all <laughs> i am gonna go in and do some baby hairs this step is optional i am gonna show you guys up close like i was telling you guys before with the ripples you really can't see it unless my head is sitting a certain way and that's just on camera in person you can't tell at all you just can't okay so don't worry about if your lace does you know ripple up a little bit you'll be fine i'm just gonna go in and curl my baby hairs using my one inch uh flat iron and we're gonna go ahead and swoop the baby hairs to swoop my baby hairs i was sent a fresh edge brush so you know we're gonna go ahead and spread that spray that with that got to be glue and we just gonna swoop and swoop like baby hairs be tedious with me i'm very particular about my baby hairs i don't like them touching my brows or anything like that so i'll go back in and you know trim them up and swoop again until i get it to my liking We're going to go ahead and straighten up this part because it was a little crooked. So we're going to make sure it's super duper straight. I just love that it's pre-bleached, y'all. Y'all just don't understand how easy it looks. But now I'm just going to define the part using some cream foundation and boom. Y'all see how alive that part came? I'm using my Sebastian spray because y'all know I love to create those bumps to give my, you know, wig a little bit of shape towards the top. So I just go in with some... <laughs> look like I almost burned myself <laughs> I just go in with the hot comb to you know set everything in place and then we're just gonna pretty much start you know brushing out the curls shaping it to my desired liking so I, I just love this whole thing about the wig already being styled because it saved me so much time I love these freaking highlights this ashy grayish blondish type of vibe is so freaking cute and this is one of my favorite types of units like if I would pick any color highlight unit, I will always go back to this because it just eats down. Okay, eats down. But y'all see now I'm just cutting some layers in it because like I said, it's already curled. I just wanted to give it, you know, a little bit more of a shape. So, you know, more of a layered look. I went back in the top of my head to do a little bit more hot comb so everything can look flat. So this is how the hair turned out and I am completely obsessed. Like, don't play with West Kiss. West Kiss did not come to play, okay? Not only did this wig come HD with an HD lace, it came pre-bleached and pre-plugged. Baby, this wig came styled. And when I tell you it came styled, it came styled. Like, I did not touch these curls. The only thing I did was brush them out. Like. I'm applauding West Kiss hair because yes, this is what I was this is what I was wanting. I was wanting my virgin hair units to give the same energy my synthetic wigs gave. Okay, they came done, they came ready for you to install. Not all synthetic, but some. So with that being said, from straight out the box to on my head, I'm gonna rate this wig a 10 out of 10. I'm completely obsessed. I have no complaints. I did get some minor shedding and tangling here and there, but that's just expected when it comes down to virgin hair. To maintain the longevity of your wig, since this is a colored wig, I recommend you buying your your shampoo or buying shampoo and conditioner that is for color treated hair because as you guys can see it is color it's so pretty i love that they gave us the one b roots they gave us jet black roots y'all know i'm here for that i love me a jet black root with some highlights with some color the highlights is everything i have no complaints 
I have none. Zero. There was nothing that they could approve on. There was nothing. Everything was just A1. It was just 10 out of 10 top tier quality. Okay. <laughs> so this is just my review thus far. Like I said, I haven't worn it long enough to like, give, you know, an overall view. But from just today install, quickest install I've ever done. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And until my next one, your girl. See you later. Uh, bye guys.